Okay, so I'm just going to be focus stacking a jumping spider. So the process we use for this is using a Godox Pro Pack 960, which is hooked up to our flash unit. Uh, and the reason for this is so we can actually fire the flash on continuous shutter. And then what I'm going to be doing is moving in in a continuous motion, bracing myself, keeping still, taking multiple shots at different focal lengths. So I'm using the MPE 65, which has a 5 to 1 uh, macro ratio, so I can get where I need to be. And uh, this is the process. So as you can see, this camera has quite a high frame rate. Uh, and it'll work on any camera with any frame rate, but the higher the frame rate, the uh, more images you can get while the spider is actually paused in its pose. So generally what we're doing is following the spider's movement. And as it moves around, uh, it pauses to dance. And while it's having the pause during the dance phase, we wait, as soon as it's still, moves straight in. And that's the process of uh, focus stacking a dancing jumping spider. Okay, so these are the images I just took during that photo shoot. And as I flick through them, you'll see the focal length change in the images. So I started at the back of the spider and come through to the front and then back again, ensuring I cover all of the spider. So that's where the increased frame rate is important. And uh, you can see little movement in each of the pictures um, of myself moving around the operator. These can actually be corrected uh, using the alignment tool in Photoshop. So we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so all the images are now loaded up to Photoshop. So they're all down here on the side in layers. So you open them in layers. So to account for that movement you saw in the uh, last scene, what we actually do is come into Edit, uh, Auto Align Layers, and this will uh, take you through a process where it takes each image and matches up uh, the images to fix up that movement. So we'll see the result of that shortly. Okay, you see here the layers have actually aligned. Um, this isn't a particularly good stack. I've had a lot of movement here. So you can see the actual frames as I move up through here where I've twisted. So what the program has done is compensated for that and aligned them all together. So what we're going to do next is uh, blend all those layers together and see what the resultant image is. Hopefully it'll be in focus right from the front all the way to the back. So we'll just start that next step. So we go into Edit, Auto Blend Layers and you click stack images here and away she goes. So we'll have a look at that shortly. Okay, so this is the resultant image um, now combined. Um, so you get this greater depth of field all the way from the foreground to the background um, and you get a much sharper shot. So what we do from here is just uh, edit the picture however you want, crop some of the background out crop some of these blurred areas out. Uh, these are from uh, where the um, image has st stacked together and uh, the imperfections in the corner. So we have to just crop those out of the way um, and then just finish up our image. But as you can see, just from here, it's a much sharper image with great depth of field. And, and that's the way we achieve it with focus stacking.